The Gloomhaven map takes us southward as we battle the Temple of the Seer here on Legendary Tactics. So we are traveling south in the heart versus the hard AI in Gloomhaven using the Steam app. This is Cax, and we are going to be using for one of the very last times the Berserker and the Scoundrel. Let's have a listen in here to some of the storyline. Temple high in the Watcher Mountains, dedicated to some unseen force that can answer any questions asked of it. Visitors must survive the journey and the trials that await in the temple first, however. It is a tradition among the Order of the Great Oak to send its members on a pilgrimage to this temple. We are faced with the prospect of any knowledge they desire, they decline to ask a question, putting all their trust in the Great Oak instead. The sanctuary provides you with some basic directions and you head off. While your path is clear, the way is anything but easy. So that great oak, we're going to uh, check out some great oak here, and we run into an encounter. It uh, looks like we're up against some wolves, so we're going to run howling, and oh, we will also be poisoned. So that's a bit of a bit of a little eight ball. We're going to be starting behind as we uh, to the temple, braving the harsh winds and loose rocks. You finally reach the top and head through the threshold into a large open foyer. I am afraid I cannot accept visitors at this time. A disembodied voice booms through the room. Please come back in 12 years. I may be able to accommodate you then. Before you can object, a group of massive stone constructs materialize before you. Yeah, there's going to be some, uh, some annoying enemies to kill in this one for sure. So... Uh, for our, uh, our challenges there, I'm going to go with opening a door with the scoundrel and, uh, I'm sure I'll be able to get one door open, hopefully with, uh, with scoundrel before that. We start away. I know, the voice says, you have questions. I have you ready your weapons. There's no way you're going to climb back down that cliff with nothing to show for it. So this first room is already looking kind of challenging here with three. Uh, heavy uh, berserkers here in the room. Double shields, 16 health. It's a fair bit to uh, to tackle. And this is only room one, so um, part of the challenges with the hard AI right off the hop here is it's not going to make things easy. Easy. So we'll see if we can't uh, put together a combo that might uh, might chisel away here. I always find it's a bit helpful if you can try and at least uh, take one out as quickly as possible, so you're not uh, you're not having three enemy all attacking you uh, simultaneously, and that uh, that can really do uh, do quick damage if you're uh, if you're not able to uh, at least uh, nullify one of the three enemies early. So that's uh, that's one of the things I'm going to be trying to uh, accomplish here, uh, quite uh, with quite uh, due speed. Just going to get that Scoundrel over to the, the corner a bit more. Scoundrel has a little less health than... than uh, getting right in there with the Berserker. Taking two damage. Got him for five, though. That's good. The shield didn't uh, didn't come into play with that that ability, so it's kind of nice. Throw the uh, throw an ally in there. Hopefully, the ally can either sustain the jade the jade falcon. Hopefully, the jade falcon can either uh, even get a few hits in. Hopefully, before getting uh, crushed. But at the very least, uh, it will uh, draw off some enemy fire early. I'm going to keep the scoundrel uh, invisible. That's kind of nice. And right away, we've got an enemy that is going to die. So we've got that uh, the visage coming in really handy here uh, to wipe out. Uh, sorry, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a berserker in the room there. Those are three, those stone golems. My, my apologies there. So we've got one stone golem down, two more to go. Got a second ally coming in. So uh, 
some some more support here. Another another J another uh, sorry uh, another Falcon. Also debating uh, having that uh, having that other uh, a third uh, ally maybe of, of value too. But uh, at least the scoundrel being invisible here is going to uh, protect uh, protect the scoundrel from any from any damage this round. Oh, and a zero attack. That's that's always beneficial. That other stone golem's gonna meander on over. Minus one attack. Okay, four damage. I I can whittle it down to three. So. A little less, a little less uh, of a hit there. Can use the Maw here. Maw of Madness. I do love that card. Very valuable. Uh, especially for getting health restored. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, getting more, uh, getting a, a nice robust attack there. So I'm aiming for lower health. Hopefully my uh, my allies can even swoop in there and do some some attack as well so we'll see with those two shields though, i'm not sure oh times two might actually yeah got a little bit of damage there that's good you almost meet, need a times two with their with their lower attack rate but uh scoundrel can come in behind here and attack for four both of them so that's kind of a bonus Beating the plus one there, that, that might be a nice uh, nice time to use it. But, oh, nice. Break the shield, too. Excellent. Oh, and disarm. Even better. Another plus one and a disarm. Oh, that's great. So we got some, some really strong attacks in there. Throw in another ally. We're going to put them all... Put all our cards on the table early here and see if we can't uh, at least uh, draw some... Oh, a plus two? Oh, oh but a zero. Ah, oh, rats. That would have been uh, pretty helpful. So we can we can muddle everybody and a plus three. So we're, we're bound to get at least uh, one down. Oh, excellent. We've got them both down pretty pretty well here. So this, this might be uh, not bad at all. Heal right back up for the uh, the Berserker. Oh, yeah. I'm not too hopeful with these uh, plus two attacks. I'm going to skip the movement, but uh, try to get at least another minus one. Well, had to get those out of the deck anyway, and at least we did some really good damage early with them, so we'll see now. Oh, and they had they had some, uh, some negative effects on, so actually nothing, no attack there, which is great. Now I'm really hoping to at least get that five uh, five health stone golem down down to uh, to nothing before the attack commences from their end. So we'll see if we can't uh, make short work short work of the moment. Another another high initiative for the stone golem, so that's good. Okay, down to four, down to four. That's great. Oh, another zero though, unfortunate. So now might be trying to target that four. See if we can't. Uh, Get that thing down to zero here. Plus one. Don't hit it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And uh, Scoundrel can be uh, protected one more round here. But we are in pretty good stead. Oh, and lots of wounds. Okay. Only one does take, though, but that's all right. Now, the dilemma is here. How much do I How much do I want to raise it up? I'll, we'll just go with one. See if we can't uh, get a lucky strike here. Another wound doesn't matter. Oh darn! One health, but but the uh, the wound should actually seal the deal here. Oh, we got him anyway. So there we go. Okay, so that was uh, we made some pretty good work of that. Our health is looking great. Uh, it is it is really nice to um, to have some really strong characters uh, uh, with lots of uh, you know options as far as weapons and uh, you know add-ons to the character. That's one of the great things about Gloomy I mean, how you can build the characters up to such a degree where it's uh, they become they become pretty pretty potent forces. Uh, these these levels in Gloomhaven as you progress they they do seem to get tougher and tougher so uh, you do kind of need that kind of extra bonus and and unfortunately this this 
is getting very close to the swan song with these two uh, characters. We're getting very close to their their overall objective. So retirement is uh, is upon them. So we'll have to see how much longer we can uh, uh, enjoy these two characters before we move on to the next uh, the next great adventure of the Gloomhaven character scene. So so we're just coming up to the new room here. Uh, we'll have to see what this new room uh, brings us. I'm sure it won't be great, but we'll find out quite shortly here. We're going to bust through this d door and find... Oh, boy, what a mess. What a mess. Flying red lizards, wailing spirits, and great terrifying bears that don't seem at all happy to have been suddenly transported here. We've got winged creatures and... And, uh sorcerers and uh looks like a tw oh, it is a bear an elite bear and all oh, the shields on those now luckily the sorcerers there have uh, i think the living spirits they got low health uh so that's the one upside but still a f um three shield means you know you're looking at a four attack and then hopefully nothing negative happens and of course they've got a bit of range unfortunately so this is going to be a bit of a trick. A couple of elites in here. This is this is not going to be easy. Uh, and Scandrel has taken the brunt of this first attack. And there's a lot of them again. So I'm going to try to follow a similar strategy here. We're going to go after and, and try and take out uh, at least... Oh, jeez. Four more damage. God. Scandrel's all the way down to seven. That is not great. And actually, maybe even a bit more here, unfortunately. Down to four. Oh, That bird attack did nothing, unfortunately. So now I'm able to to get some good ground with Berserker. Can move Berserker into pretty good range here. Question is, do I want to go up against the bear or do I want to go up against the against the spirits or those flying beasts in the back row there? So. Right now, I'm going to just try, I get uh, I get to target two here. Uh, I'm going for the ones without the big shields. Try and, uh, try and get some, some good attacks in here. So that that's three, that's not bad. Hit the bear for... Oh, eight. Okay, that was helpful. So that bear is now down to 20. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pull the bear into the trap, unfortunately. That was kind of a, a hope I had. How bad is this attack going to be? Eight damage. Jeez. Hard, hard to take eight, so I'm going to I'm gonna burn a card here. Fortunately, I pick up a wound. It's not great. Got a short rest. There is no time for long rest in this particular one. Can't lose that one. I'm going to definitely need to be rehealing. So uh, Now, I'm not quite in a great position for Maw yet. Um, so my dilemma is, but, uh, I do want, if I can get a few more, got to also short rest, a short rest with, uh, the scoundrel. Scoundrel's in a similar boat. If I can get into a good spot there, that long con ta targeting all, 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 all adjacent, uh, enemies for five that or four, that's a pretty strong attack. Okay, so Scandrel is going to get first play here. I was just debating if I should have dropped the Berserker down, but... Oh, good, the bird came over here. Another four damage on the on the bear. That's great, 16. Question is, do I want to get the Scoundrel over... Can I get the Scoundrel in behind that bear, or... Oh, I got a got a real, real choice here, but I think it's uh, it's either maximizing your efficiency of, with the uh, with the upper card there of the long con, or getting a few enemies, or going all out for the bear there and trying to get that bear down. I think in this case though, we got to try and get those enemies whittled. So see what we can do here. Need some some good. I think it. it might be time, but I, yeah, we'll just use it. Plus one. 
Oh, would have been great. That shield breaker would have been great for the living spirits. But oh, and six there. Okay, so so that first uh, that first Drake is down, down a good chunk, down to five. The Drakes are going to have their day in the. Oh, it's a heal up. Okay, well, it's not the worst thing to happen. At least uh, with Scoundrel at four, I'd almost prefer Owen Shields too now. Okay, darn. That previous attack would have been really helpful with those uh, with those shields up, but that's all right. Oh, and now retaliate too. <laughs> the bird doing absolutely nothing. That's unfortunate. All right. So now we're off to the berserker here. Move to attack all adjacent enemies. Ugh, it's, it's not great. Not really a great, uh... So I disarmed the trap. Now I can attack those two. At a... And... Unfortunately... It was a minus one. That's not great, but... Bears at 15... Oh, darn, the Drake just just survived it. Okay, so getting that Drake down is is going to be critical here. This uh the living spirits now are going to have their uh their fun. I'm going to let's pull back uh, the maw again. That that one you would kind of want to the Maw is one of the the Berserker's most valuable cards, so how how bad's how bad's it gonna be here? That's the big question. Well, there goes the bird. Okay. Ally number one is down. Oh targeting scoundrel. That was the one I was hoping to uh oh boy. This this could be Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to burn a card. Darn. Cards are all kind of useful. I guess Swift Bow, even though range is kind of helpful for, for a scoundrel. Oh, zero. Oh, got lucky there. All right. Back to the Maw. Now the Maw is actually a little more helpful. See if we can't uh, finish off a, a couple enemies here before they even get a chance. Scoundrel 2 health is, is quite uh, quite concerning, though. Got very low health. Scout's going to get to go first here, so can can maybe get rid of one. That bear is. Oh, there comes the warrior spirit cruising on in. Okay. So I can poison some enemies here. And uh, yeah, this is a Trickster's Reversal is a burn card. It was a tough decision, but I really got it. We got a, like I said earlier, you, it's a really important goal to make sure you can uh, whittle down some of the enemies in the room because uh, without that, um, there's just too much firepower coming at you. So I did have a five heal. It's going to give me a little bit of uh, a buffer here. I can also pull back the five heal again with uh, pulling back one of the potions and uh, we're going to use that right away here get 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 up to 12 I can sustain a bit of damage now so that's uh, that's going to be solid Berserker has two enemies see if we can't take out one of the drakes here Dilemma is, do I go for the Drake or finish off that bear? Ah! Only one. This might be able to do it. Oh, gosh. Well, luckily I had this back, the, the Maw Madness backup card there. I can Jason get to, get to actually uh, target six here. Or, sorry, three of them. Which is great. 
And that was solid. Two of them went down there. Didn't quite see how that living uh, spirit went down, but I will take it. <laughs> so we are now down to uh, two elite, the bear and the drake, and then, of course, that last living spirit. So we're, we're doing okay. Uh, also have that uh, the ally there. The, well, the falcon is now gone. Attack four. Make it five. Not ideal. Seven damage. Got to burn another card. Oh, boy. Got to do it. No real choice here. It's question is, like, do you... See, that, having the lower attack is good with the Thieves' Knock, so I guess we'll lose the, the Duelists. Okay, so Bear should be done this round. As long as we can get initiative. Scandal's the one I'm most worried about. Seems like Berserker is in really good good position here. So we can do some attacks. Oh, the bear did get initiative early. Darn. Now we can drop our initiative here. And I think it's... All right, well, you know what? The bear is going to attack Berserker, and Berserker's got a ton of health. Uh, now is locked in position, so we'll only really be able to deal, deal with the bear. Um, totally stuck with that, but... Let's see if we can't uh, finish the bear off in this uh, foul swoop here. Not quite, but the good news is uh couldn't move, so we're going to have to stay put. And, uh, see if we can't, uh, oh, we're just going to heal up. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, the warrior spirit's cruising in here. So let's see if, uh, Scoundrel can't, uh. The dilemma is here now, do I cruise in there? Oh, the bear actually is elite, so the bear I can't use uh, Visage on anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. Uh, the only one that would really work is the Living Spirit for Visage now. Um, so, yeah, that... Uh, not beside, though. So I have to just do a regular attack, unfortunately. Just trying to get myself a little out of the way, though, with Scoundrel. I don't want that living that living spirit getting any crazy ideas. All right, recovering some more cards here for Berserker. Getting that maw back in. Really got to finish that bear off. That Drake, too, is going to become a bit of a problem. I have a feeling here that, uh, yeah, i got to burn another card with, uh, with Scoundrel. We are getting precariously low now. And still three enemies to go, and some of them with pretty decent health. So that Drake and then, of course, that annoying uh, uh, Living Spirit there with uh, three shields. So I do have that one, and I'm just debating if it's worth it to uh, the Unstoppable Destruction, I believe, which allows me to uh, take two health and ignore all, all all shields. The only problem is the initiative is so... so high on it, 57. Got to rest. This could be uh, Scoundrel Swan Song here. Scandal's going to have to make some, some pretty good hay here. And the bear gets initiative again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, may as well drop down and get uh, Scandal's last, uh, last go round here. There we go. Okay. So look at that. The, uh, the ally comes in handy after all. 
So if Scoundrel can move two and then attack four. Unfortunately, not next to one of the allies, but... Oh, that would have been so great on the Living Spirit. Oh, well. Okay, so this might be a really now up to the, the Berserker here to, to finish the deal. So, first things first. Let's get over here and see if we can't... Oh, now that was a bit of a misplay. I should have done those in reverse order. That was a little bit of a mistake. Should have used Unstoppable Destruction, taken the two damage, and I could have ignored all the... Could have, could have possibly wiped out the, uh, the Living Spirit right there. So, unfortunately, giving a little more time for that Living Spirit, and now the Spitting Drake. Yeah... That's the end of the Scoundrel. Scoundrel's going to go down here. Exhausting out. Losing also the ally, unfortunately. So now we've got... Uh, we've got the uh, the Berserker in pretty good stead, though. The Berserker could possibly here... Uh, uh, finish these two off if, if play it right. So... With the three shield, though, I really... That misplay of the uh, Unstoppable Destruction was a bit of an oversight there. That that has made me have to spend some more time here f working on the, uh, the Living Spirit. Of course, the Drake the whole while is going to be having a good time. So I can take two damage here and at least... Uh, if I can get lucky with the attack, plus one or something. There we go! All right! So now it's a, it's a straight up uh, heads up attack here. Drake versus Berserker. Five attack times two. Okay, oh good. I do have the, uh, the, the buff on it there, the block. Don't want to burn the Maw of Madness. Although... Quite honestly, the maw the ma now with only one character is not, uh, it's not as critical, but uh, I do have a special place in my heart for that card, so it's hard to, hard to burn that one. Let's see if we can't uh, make short work of this Drake. But before we do... Time to go find a treasure box here. What? Is it? Don't know if I want to use from the brink just yet. I, my health is pretty good. Healing 10, though. Burn the card. I have lots of cards to play with. All right, let's go for it. And the treasure chest is found. 10 XP. Okay, we'll take it. This was uh, one of the rare games where there was actually a little bit of time, uh, but eight damage. There goes the, <laughs> there goes the ten heal I just did. So with uh, let's see here, looks like five cards remaining, one in the discard pile. That's uh the growing rage is not a bad card because as you uh, you your your attack strengthens as you discard cards. It's always a that's always been one of intrigue to me. So. I'm not going to use it this round, but uh, I am going to suffer a bunch of damage here. See if we can't uh, get that Drake down to... Oh, I'll take three. I'll take six, or six damage down to three health. A minus one. Good. Still five. Okay. It's not great. I'll take these odds, though. Lots of attacks there with Fatal Fury. Suffer four damage. I'm hoping just to ice it off right here. There we go. And killing all enemies in all rooms there. Mission accomplished. So 
So it's all pretty pretty well. I guess I could you know potentially have stepped in the trap and died, but uh, there's the victory. Last of the creatures falls, the temple becomes eerily silent. You call. You begin banging the walls with your weapons and yelling even louder, making it clear that you will not leave without answers. Enough. The power of the voice shakes the ground. Oh boy, when you hear the word enough, it but does make I you don't make you shake. I like murder, however, so I will make you a deal. I will answer a single question for you, and then you will leave this place without further incident and never return. So what would you like? Great power? Great wealth? Or is the location of the necromancer you well, are? Well, the necromancer always comes in handy. That important to you. Getting a little details on that. So let's see how we do. Oh, wow. Look at all the records for Berserker there. That was very well done. Uh, Scoundrel did open the door, so we did get a perk point there with the uh, with the you know, the mission objective. That's good. And uh, anyway, we it, uh, another quest completed on our journey through Gloomhaven. Uh, Shrine of Strength has now opened up too, as well with that win, as law as well as the Lost Island. Oh boy, sunken treasure looks interesting. So anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around and watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and gained some tips and tricks and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and take care here on legendary tactics <laughs> <laughs>